Hi, my name is Ashish Harure. I work for Knowledgeant and I am a Calibra certified ranger. Um, today I'd be talking about my experiences with data governance um, and this goes back to many years, um, many, many years ago, 10 years uh, plus ago. Um, I, I was working on a data governance project which was really a ma master data management project. Um, however, at the heart of the project was uh, data governance. And I want to specifically talk about um, the, the, the experiences that I had from that and um, you know what it taught us. So the project didn't succeed and um, failure is not always um, is, is the wrong thing. Uh, failure is an option sometimes. Um, and failure can be a great teacher. So failure can provide a unique insight into what does not work. It also gives you an opportunity to see and assess uh, the weaknesses in your, in your original attempt and what you could do to improve upon it. Um, so my experience of going back to 10 years um, in a global wealth management um, institution, uh, we were building a master data management project, providing a 360 degree view of client and account data. Um, and even though it was a master data management project, um, at the heart of it was data governance. Uh, as part of that project, we were building business glossaries, building business rules, um, we're thinking about building um, some kind of workflows. Um, we had um, a semantic data model that uh, was a deliverable as part of the project. Um, and also to identify roles and responsibilities, who is going to do what, um, and, and that, was, uh, that was key. So with that, um, what we, what we ended up with that uh, project was that it didn't really make, um, make it to, to a successful project. And again, I shouldn't really call it a project because data governance is usually not just a project. So I would like to, I would like to focus on um, why it failed and what could have been done to prevent it, um, learning from, from the experience. So um, I, I like to categorize it into like three shortcomings. Um, one was a strategic shortcoming. Um, and I would like to focus on what strategic shortcomings were there. Um, and I would like to then move on to the operational shortcomings and uh, then short, uh, technical shortcomings. Today we want to talk about the strategic shortcomings um, that we um, encountered with that project. So one of the major shortcomings with that project was that um, this project was driven by technology and uh, operations and business were not in lockstep with technology. And, and that's a problem that we see consistently um, is data governance is seen as a technology project. And um, business and operations need to have uh, equal uh, stake in that project. And um, because that was the case, um, technology was driving the, the, the initiative. Business and operations didn't really see the value that, that this initiative was going to bring to them. And they couldn't really justify uh, why, why they should be moving forward with this. Um, and lack of Lack of roadmap, um, you know, five years, two years, um, what we are doing for the, for the longer term. Not having a clear understanding of the roadmap um, also, poses, also poses the same amount of uh, uh, trouble. So I, I think the, from a strategic shortcomings uh, point of view, um, not having operations and business on the table, driving this project, and leaving everything to technology to do that, that was, that was really um, the biggest challenge that we faced on that project. And then once you have business um, justif justification for that project, uh, it becomes that much easier to do that. But since we didn't have that, um, it was actually a big, um, uh, big task on, on technology to prove this project out and then um, make sure that business and operations see value, which is after the fact. And that really what I think was the biggest problem for this project.